So hi everybody, it's Wednesday. Um, it's chilly again today. At least it seems chilly inside here. Um, perhaps Pat turned the heat off a little too early because last night it went down oh, below 10. And 10, you know, is... 10 is... let me see... 10 is... Uh, 32 plus 10 is 42 plus miscellaneous. Let's say it's 52, and it's chilly. But actually, you know, it's better than it being hot, I guess. Although I'd like to see the grass come green. And when we went out on Monday, the tulip, Japanese tulip trees are starting. They're just in the tulip stage, the closed tulip, and they're going to they're going to explode in color pretty soon, I would think. I have nothing to tell you, although I probably do. I have a bazillion things to tell you, but nothing is coming to mind. And all I really want to talk about is the uh, almost 60 days with my sister here. And I don't know. It, I don't think that you'd be very much interested. Um, Pat and I are still recovering from that. I think she is too, and that's okay. And, um, well, I'll save it for later. Here is my great-granddaughter, Claire. Picture was taken, I don't know, maybe November-ish. And we got these for Christmas. Um... What else can I tell you? Um, I still don't feel good. It's it's up and down. Um, I'm tired. I'm working on some more socks and I'm trying to do... Oh, <sighs> Pam Chatfield opened a shawl along community on um, on um, Google Plus. And I thought, well, geez, you know, Judy made some beautiful shawls, and um, I should be able to do that. So I searched and searched and found a shawl called Birch. And if, if you're a knitter um, and you're interested, you just Google Rowan Birch, and you'll see a picture of it if you're interested. You're probably not because you're not going to be seeing it from me, I'm pretty sure. I think it's a little too ambitious for me. Um, anyway, I got the yarn and I got the pattern which is free and you have to cast on 299 stitches and then you make little birch leaves up into a triangle. And if you miscount, the whole thing is completely yeah, you heard the word I was thinking. So I spent four hours on Saturday trying to, well, it took me an hour and a half to cast on. And then I did four rows and made a mistake and had to rip it all out. And then it took me an hour and a half to cast on 299 stitches again on Sunday. And I messed it up again. And now I have the cast on, but nothing done yet. I might have to rethink and just make socks. I got a gorgeous lavender... Sorry about that. I had to cough, go pee. I'm back now. Um, where was I? Gorgeous lavender color, so they'll make great socks if I can't use it for the birch. These are the socks I'm working on right now. And of course, I, everything I do is in threes now. And so here is the, I just turned the heel um, on the third one. And this is how much is left. I think it's enough, although that's a soft ball. Um, what else? I got some mail and I'm 
I'm reluctant to even discuss it because I don't celebrate birthday anymore, but um, I got, and the card's not going to look very impressive, but I got a great card from Tammy. Here it is, and you see it's got like those little things sticking up. It's because attached to the front of the card were these plastic things. And guess what it made? By the way, the sentiment inside is very nice. Thank you very much for my card, Tammy. And here's what was inside. And I had to build this. Look. Um, no, you're not going to... Well, yeah, there. A little bit. It's a cupcake! So, I will put it on the dining room table when when we have um, birthday dinner. Thank you, Tammy. It made me smile. Can you see? Yes, there it is. So that was from Tammy and my friend Mike, who used to be new boy, and I can't remember what his new channel is, so I'm sorry, Mike. You don't make videos, though. It's not my fault for forgetting, but Mike sent me this nice birthday card too, so thank you, Mike. I know I owe you a letter. Yeah, one day. Um, what else? I would dearly love to see a video from Melissa. Um, I often wonder about her son who's in Afghanistan right now and hope that everything is fine. And I truly think he should go off base and try some Afghan food, Melissa. But I understand the restrictions, and it's probably not all that safe out there. <clears throat> um, and I had a nice comment from Liz. Remember Liz? This is Liz. And I, I miss her, too. I really, um, when she was vlogging, she... She always had something interesting to say, and right now, she's so active and doing so much. It would be lovely to have a little vlog from Liz. So, I'm nudging, but, you know, I understand. And Judy is on the road, and I'd love to hear from Judy, too. She has a new grandson. And my great-nephew in Hong Kong, Hunter, is... Now off the breathing apparatus, um, but is still having issues and troubles, and um, uh, we're all uh, hoping for the best for him. He had a reflex to a stimulation on his foot, and he moved his foot, but he's not moving his arms or legs yet, and he's what? He's um, Friday, it will be two weeks old. So let's hope he uh, uh, is okay. We're all a little worried. So I'm sending my prayers. And if you are so inclined, um, a little positive thought for little Hunter in Hong Kong would be nice. And I'm going to hang up now. <laughs> I hope you weren't bothered by my laundry. I'm drying the... Um, the baby blanket thing that I made for Obed and his wife and their new baby. And it's heavy. I'm surprised. But anyway, I finished it. And it will be ready for when I see Obed. That's it. That's all. <laughs>